Hello and welcome to uh, round 10 the Canadian Grand Prix of the ARR Hype Energy F1 League on PC season 19 so yeah I'm gonna show you my fastest qualifying right now what happened uh, how I drove it uh, I'm kind of satisfied of what happened uh, and of my time but uh, yeah there's been a funny uh, funny thing going on because these are the second tires that I've used in quali and I did one lap with them and only one lap because <laughs> in my <laughs> out lap of the pits I didn't concentrate enough and I hit <laughs> the wall <laughs> with my front wing so I had to change them and I still said that I have to use these tires and then I still went for one more, one more go as you see here I was really wide in this corner and lost a lot of time and going through the last uh, straight I um, I didn't cut it as much as I could and so the time was 1.97 I think yes and which now makes me uh, in place number four in qualifying which is quite good so you here you can see my setup that I was using which I was not comfortable with at all uh, I I struggle with uh, with with my tire usage which is which I didn't do ever because I'm quite good with the tires tire wear but here it was really hard for me so yeah P4, which is quite good, quite good. Siegfried is in front of me, Brick of my teammate and Tissu. And let's go. Straight for the start, we have a good start. But we want to be careful because, you know, the first first corners are very, like mostly, when, when danger happens. And already a virtual safety car. Uh, so Alastra said that he has some trouble with... Uh, with starting his car Virtual with car getting off the line so we go to the end of this lap uh, where, where we actually start uh, racing again we see we had quite a good launch towards Siegfried but we still uh, put it into standard and low ERS mode trying to just be close to him stay close as much as we can So yeah, like tire wear for me here was really, really hard. I had uh, a lot of problems when I was uh, training with Birk, Birkov, because uh, I, I was getting the the rear tire. Oh, and Birk actually goes off here. So oh, I forgot that it was in lap three already. So we talked with Birk, and he said that the conditions here were, were a, lo a little bit different than what we trained for because it was a little colder he pushed a little too much and that's why he he spun actually yeah unfortunate for him because I know that he had really really good pace much better than me so here we go wide again I missed the braking point and I locked up again which was actually fine for me because now the safety car was deployed and now we had a big big uh, decision to do so either stay on softs or have this pit stop which is actually for free no time lost right uh, so yeah we just take it because Tissu is our starting on mediums already and I am on softs so if you want to stay close and stay l out for longer I think this is this was a good idea so just change your tires and see when we get end up in a lot of people change tires also we'll be doing one more stop today. so we Once ended up in sixth strategy. place which is quite okay because we know that all of the people in front of us except Siegfried they will have to change their tires in the future mm. starting again uh, in lap 6 after the green safety flag. car green flag. We're, again. we're behind uh, Siegfried which had he had a great launch and now we did do, do a simple mistake we wanted to overtake Honey Badger in this place which 
I'm so sorry, man. I, I, I shouldn't do that. And even here, I'm so aggressive. Thank you for letting me go past you, even though we had uh, soft tires. Mm, maybe a little more grip than me. So I'm sorry for this touching and aggression. But I knew that I had to stay with Siegfried if I want to compete for the podium. So that's why I was so aggressive at that time. Yeah. Otherwise, uh, I was quite happy with my pace here. I, I felt uh, in a good rhythm here. Uh, we see that uh, Zikri is also already on the back of uh, Viper GT, I think. Um, Strike has having all some trouble with uh, the connection. Poor guy. That's what happened to me, actually, in uh, Germany. I couldn't get into the race. Uh, because my computer froze and I didn't get into the server in time. Tisu with a faster slap. And here I was just trying to get good pace and see that these first corners are really good for me. I had good traction, I had really good speed. Going into this, also here, closing up to Siegfried a tiny bit, almost lost the car though, but still in control. Yeah, I think Zikrid is getting ha held up by uh, Viper um, a little bit uh, with, uh, from the Renault. He also had very good, very good pace, Zikrid here in this uh, this race. Also, Kyofex behind me is he's. Uh, I'm I'm just trying to get get away from here that he doesn't have DRS, which is gonna be a hard job for me. Especially if here in this uh, this track, I didn't feel comfortable. I didn't have a lot of practice, enough practice that I would really feel comfortable with it. And he goes for a move, uh, Siegfried, but he doesn't stick it in the end. And this this finding in front of me allows me to get closer to them. And I think also here I have a really good good entry into first corners. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm really closing up to those guys. Almost losing the back. Yeah, here I should really push push it into lean or standard not having an rich Because my tires I was pushing too much. Also, we want to want to have a move. We're really close to Jekyll here But we said no it, it doesn't really it isn't worth it to crash uh, We we would like rather rather overtake him in a place where it's a little safer So yeah Staying behind him, trying to save some uh, ERS and uh, fuel. We actually get a quite a good exit here, or not. <laughs> we lost a lot of time right here, so we know that this is not a time or a place that we can uh, challenge Siegfried. Kyufex also had really good pace behind me, and... Uh, yeah, he's closing up to me and that's not good for us because we're getting a little uh, dra drag behind. <coughs> the car behind is dropping back by about three tenths a lap. Again, we have a good exit out of first corners, out of the first corners, getting closer to Siegfried in the first sector. I think my breaking points uh, uh, were quite good. I had I was feeling like more comfortable with this. This this is the corner that was I was fearing so much because here I I lost it when I was uh, training or in time trial a lot. And also the car felt so much different than in time trial. It it was a whole whole new world when I went uh, practicing in online. So here we have a quite a good exit actually behind Siegfried. Uh, I don't know why this corner was uh, <coughs> not <coughs> not good for me or I wasn't uh, doing it correctly because they were just fly flying away from me. Or actually maybe it was my setup, I don't know. He oh, and if Siegfried makes a big mistake, goes wide, I, uh, I fortunately went uh <coughs> beside him so we didn't crash. And we just have Black Viper GT in front of us for so we can battle for position number two. Hmm. 
and I feel comfortable here. I felt that I was, I had pace. I had, I was at the level of Zikrid, or if I didn't mistake, a little faster at times. Uh, so yeah, I, s I thought that if uh, Viper, uh, oh, it actually, it's actually battling for P3, and as uh, Rindel or. Yeah, Randall had had problems, or he hit the wall, so <coughs> he played he clipped the, his wing, so that's allowed us to get into P3, uh, position number three. So we're in the podium, taking positions, and here, yeah, I s I was still kind of thinking I have to get uh, past him, I have to force him into making a mistake. He actually. He actually does one actually right here, so we're like ac happy for for the mistake. It was for his mistake. It was actually just like Siegfried's before, and we take the position number two. Uh, our tire wear is is getting um, yeah, it's not that good. <laughs> so I didn't want to push as much, but still we want to get away from the guys, to get away from the DRS zone, and I think I did a really really good job here. Maintaining my pace, didn't do too much mistakes, uh, and I was getting uh, away from the guys um, as they were struggling and battling <coughs> behind me. Oh, I did a big mistake here, and I, I was really lucky to not get a, a, a wing damage here. Mm, so, yeah. So you see Hinaldi is behind me now, 11 seconds, I was actually leading the race and now there was a safety car and I said yeah I have to go in so yeah we have to put new mediums on to get new tires and, and finish the race. So now we knew that actually Tisu is gonna be in front of us, that's gonna be an, a no-doubter and the next thing to do is just to stay calm, try to keep those guys behind me. I knew that I have pace and focus on my driving. Uh, yeah, and actually that's what I did. Uh, QFX is behind me, and then I think then there's Siegfried also in f in uh, fourth place. So now we st we start again with the uh, racing uh, in lap 22, actually going to the 23rd lap. And like I said, the goal is just to st stay calm. Stay relaxed, don't do too much mistakes, uh, try to get away from the field if that is possible and don't battle too much. So... Here I wasn't really thinking about first place, I was just... Yeah, you know, I know that TC is a really good driver and... Uh, an I didn't want to even think too much about uh, winning or something. But actually, as you see that we have quite good pace too, we're, we're keeping up with Tisu, we're getting away from the pack. Uh, and I think if, if I, uh, I would get more consistent throughout, throughout the races, I would also be able to stay closer to Tisu than I was in the previous races. So he's like a benchmark to me, you know. Uh, and also Birkov, he's really good. Uh, he has amazing pace, so these, I think, are the two guys to beat in our uh, in our <coughs> league. And here we see we we didn't have a good exit. Th I was really struggling with the last two corners all the time. Kufix was getting closer and closer, but I know that he also has a lot of penalties. I think he has 18, 18 <laughs> seconds, or 18 seconds of penalties. And also we had a pi 5 sec second penalty because we had a little collision in the safety car which I'll put up in the, in the end of the video. So here we're actually 
staying close to Tisu he, uh, and also the difference was that I had medium tires and he had hard tires on. You see like this, this was the thing putting it, it into neutral and getting so wide. This is why I I was struggling to keep up with Tisu and like Kyofax is now having a great great exit. I want to still want to be in front of him and not let him go in front and yeah fortunately I keep the place and I was really really defending hard here okay, the and, have now and great racing man DRS great racing as I put it wide again you see this is <laughs> the, the con lack of concentration and nerves pushing in stepping in and yeah as Maku does uh, fastest lap here And now Zikrid is behind me. Again, I have to defend as hard as I can. So I'm still keeping at the racing line. He's right behind me and he doesn't give me actually space to get out the corner. I don't know what 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 if I did this wrong or right. I hope that Zikrid is not mad at me. I think that he didn't really choose the right right time to overtake me. Because he was still behind me, I don't know. I, st I had the racing line. I I I still left him some space, as he didn't leave me a lot on the left left side of the corner. I'm sorry, Zikrid, for the touch and for I think you also spun out. So I hope there's no hard feelings. Hmm. And actually I'm gonna put up uh, my leave up my fastest lap of the race which I thought was quite rapid um, I think like this was uh, the most that I could do uh, in this race definitely um, and I was not holding back I just wanted to get away from QFX behind me because uh, yeah I didn't want to battle anymore and I'm yeah. Also keeping up with Tisu, which I'm ca kind of proud of. Proud of. And I think we had a really rapid time here, but the problem was this last last corners. Like you'll see how QFX just comes towards me. It's in, like it's incredible. It's incredible how fast he gained time. Al although this was a rapid rapid lap. Oh yeah, and also he had DRS, but still doesn't doesn't mean. Still, he has an, had, a, had an amazing last two corners. As we get an invalidation. So. And actually we're kind of a little gaining towards Tisu a tiny bit Yeah, I was just asking about uh, the QFX behind me. He had 18 seconds of penalties. I have 8, although I think I should just have 3 seconds. Um, yeah, I finished in P2, which was really, really, really... I was really happy with. I was spectating Birk. Unfortunately, he finished up uh, down in 5th place, 6th place right here. But... Um, I think that uh, he, yeah, he deserved a lot more because he's really, really fast and he'll get better in the next race. Yeah, so finishing P2, I like it. And I'm just gonna um, uh, leave the footage of the safety car and you'll guys see what I was talking about. <laughs> 